Hello and welcome to another presentation on the AWR Three Night Interactive Systems Trainer. I've already made videos of the hydraulic system, the electrical system, and the fuel system. You can find those videos on my channel. Uh, today we'll be speaking about the fire extinguishing system. So if you press this icon here, it'll take you to the fire extinguishing page. You'll see you've got a home button which takes you back to the home screen and a slide select button. The slide select button brings up these information arrows. The fire detection system doesn't really lend itself to an Excel presentation but the information is all here so you can read up on that. Fire extinguishing general, some further information where all the, the parts are within the aircraft and also the fire detection extinguishing control panel and associated lights in the cockpit. To declutter, press the slide select button again. Okay, now we'll talk about the system itself. Okay, with a fire in either engine bay, uh, if you're lucky, it'll go out after firing one bottle into the fire. If you're unlucky, uh, it'll take two bottles. You can select it up here. If you're really unlucky, it won't go out. Get yourself on the ground. Okay, so I've selected two bottles to start the sequence. You press this button. Engine two fire. Engine two fire. Okay, I notice it's a male voice. Unfortunately, the Excel uh, system voice is male. In the aircraft, it's actually a female voice. So what's happened? I've got a fire in the number two engine. The number two firelight has has lit up. Now you can go through the whole checklist here and, and run through your actions, but I'll just go through the, the pertinent ones for this system. So what you do is arm the number two engine firearm push button, which energizes this line here. It automatically shuts off the number two fuel shutoff valve and the number two bleed air shutoff solenoid valve for cabin heating. And you put a bottle into the fire. So you select bottle two, can select either. Okay, and bottle two has been fired. So this switch has come across, energized this line, fired the squib, which has opened the, uh, the port here for the, for the pressurized bottle to put the hail on through the lines into the number two engine. Now after an appropriate amount of time, if the fire hasn't gone out, you'd fire the number one bottle, which will just bring this switch across here and activate this line. Which it does, fires the squib, another hail on shot into the number two engine bay and the fire's gone out. Okay, disarm the firearm push button, centralize the switch. I think that's self-centering in the aircraft. On this system it's not, you just have to press the center again. And you can refill the bottles by pressing this button. And you're ready to go again. Okay, this time we'll try it with, the, with this one bottle. Now there's a random function here which selects which uh, engine will, will fire, so it won't always be the same one. Start the sequence. Engine two fire, engine two fire. Okay, obviously there's a 50-50 chance, so sometimes you'll get more than one uh, on the same side. You've got a fire in the number two. The fire light has uh, lit up again. Arm it. Fire a bottle. Let's just fire the number one this time. And you'll see the fire's gone out. It's generally a good habit. I mean, I always fire. If it's number two fire, I fire the number two. But just to show you that it works for either. Reset the system, refill the bottle, and you're ready to go again. I also have this overpressure button. This just demonstrates what would happen if, you, if the aircraft's on the ground, or even in the air, I guess, and one of these, one of the fire bottles overpressurizes. It's released through this line here. It'll blow out the green indicator, and you'll be left with a red donut to indicate there's been an overpressure in the system. Obviously, these indicators are just after the engine base on the aircraft. Okay, that completes the, de the demonstration on the fire extinguishing system. Uh, I hope it was useful. As I said, I've got some other videos up uh, to look at, and next I'll be doing the landing gear system. Thank you.